and all those to excel in different uh, activities in school and after school. My dear parents, guardians, guests, and our friends. Good morning to each one of you. First of all, I'd like to say that today is a special celebration for, our, for all of you, our students, because it's held within the fifth centenary celebration of our famous world, St. Teresa County. And, I, and before I go to the text of my message, I would also like to say that um, what we celebrate today is not just the outstanding students, but also the excellent performance of the other students who perform really honored in the school in the different disciplines and different activities they join in school and outside of school. And also the expression of gratitude that I give to their parents to the teachers and mentors. And keeping in mind what St. Euphrasia says that gratitude is the memory of a humble heart. And I hope that that humble heart will carry on with you even later on in your life to be grateful for all those people who have home and help you become the person that you are now and you will be. And I'd like to inform the parents, speaking of excellence, the mural you see here upstage and the mural and other displays of artwork you will see in the garden are the work of the Oriol children who are members of the you know, visual arts class. So I hope you take time out to visit the garden for this display. And we thank Mrs. Lala Pigueta and her students for this display of artwork. So at this point, allow me to share with you a little story of action, wisdom, and tiger start in yourself. These are reflections of a person at different stages of his life. He says, When I was young and free, and my imagination had no limits, I dreamt of changing the world. As I grew older and wiser, I discovered that the world would not change. So I shortened my size somewhat and decided to change only my country. But it too seemed immovable. As I grew into my twilight years, in one last desperate attempt, I settled for changing only my family, those closest to me, but alas, they would have found me. And now I lie on my deathbed, I suddenly realize if I had only changed myself first, then by example, I would have changed my family. And from the inspiration and encouragement, I would have been, uh, been able to better my country and my homes, and not even change the world. This story speaks of wisdom, a personal gift and blessing we all need to face life's challenges today and in the future, the immediate and distant future. Let us bear in mind that any transformation we aim to undergo has to begin with ourselves. It has to begin with the first step as Confucius says, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. You have seen before this, this, this celebration says, traditions bring the path toward becoming women of substance. I think you can also say that that would be women of wisdom. But even young as you are, you can be wise. We are, our wisdom grows at different stages of our life, and that is ample of the experience we have at also different stages of our life. So my dear students, as you go higher in the ladder of learning, you will be faced with greater challenges. You will be expected to take more responsibility for your formation, to be advocates of truth and accountability, both in small things and in big things. Your generation must work in greater measure to recapture that innate goodness and moral fiber of the Filipino 
that seems to be lost. In order that we can reclaim once again our greatness as a nation. We wish you the best of the Lord's blessing as you continue on your years in junior high school and go on in senior high school. Congratulations once more to you and to your dear parents. May you continue to be the enduring support of your daughters and they continue to pursue their dreams. Allow me to reiterate a call of Pope Francis when he says that parents dream with and for their daughters and love them faithfully. Because if parents cannot dream of their daughters, they are not capable of loving them. For this celebration, I wish to thank the members of the different communities, the administration first of all, and all the teachers and personnel for this innovative and inspiring celebration. Thank you to all the teachers and mentors for the opportunities for growth and learning in the care you have given to your students so they will become the person they are today. I wish you all the best of this Easter season. The Jesus gift of your life be yours in abundance. Have a joyful family celebration and good day to all of you. All these words of wisdom we shall keep in our hearts. Thank you, Sister John.